Greetings. This is Dr. May Shema Abdurrahman, lecturer in Department of Dental Biomaterials, Faculty of Dentistry, October University of Modern Sciences and Arts, Egypt. I'd like to present our study titled Comparison of Root Canal Walls Cleanliness Obturated with two commercially available calcium silicate sealers and a resin sealer after retreatment. Endodontic sealers are used in obturation of root canals in conjunction with gutta perca for, for tightly sealing the main canal in addition to the lateral and accessory canals. Accordingly, sealers help in prevention of microbial leakage by forming a fluid-tight sealed root canal system. Different types of root canal sealers have been marketed. Bioceramic-based sealers have recently been an attracting materials because of their physiochemical properties claimed by their manufacturers combined with their favorable biological characteristics. The main constituents in their composition are alumina, zirconia, bioactive glass, glass ceramics, hydroxyapatite, and calcium phosphates. They can be classified into bioactive or bioinert materials in reference to their interaction with the surrounding vital tissues. Bioceramic sealers are characterized by their excellent biocompatibility. Moreover, they contain calcium phosphate which enhances their setting characteristics, resulting in the formation of a structure that has the chemical and crystalline characteristics similar to that of both the tooth and the bone appetite, and consequently, their bone strength to dentine is enhanced. On the other hand, their main disadvantage is that they represent an obstacle in cases of retreatment or post-space preparation. Due to their difficulty in complete elimination from the root canal, once complete setting is achieved. Despite improvements and advances in materials and methods, root canal treatment is not always satisfactory. After root canal obturation procedures, retreatment might be mandatory in cases of inappropriate cleaning or reinfection. Retreatment strategy involves elimination of the current obturating material and then the whole mechanical and filling procedures are repeated. As a result, practitioners are always faced with the challenge of managing endodontic failure in everyday clinical practice. Non-surgical retreatment is an option that allows another chance of saving a failing previously root treated tooth. For successful non-surgical retreatment, it is crucial that the root canal obturating material should be easily and efficiently eliminated to give the chance to properly correct any deficiencies in the original treatment. Different methods have been postulated for complete elimination of the gutta perca and sealer, such as hand files, ultrasonics, heat pluggers, lasers, different solvents and night eye rotary instruments. Lately, specialized rotary instruments for retreatment have been marketed, which are specially fabricated to eliminate the root filling materials such as ProTaper Universal Retreatment Instruments, two retreatment files and our endo retreatment files. Accordingly, the current study aimed to examine and observe the cleanliness of root canal walls that were previously obturated with two types of calcium silicate bioceramic sealers compared to a resin sealer by the use of a scanning electron microscopy. Hi, this is Dr. Mohammed Yahya Hassan, lecturer of endodontics, Faculty of Dentistry, October University of Modern Science and Art, Egypt. The materials we have used were basically three different sealers. They were Ad Seal, which is a resin sealer, Well Root, and Cera Seal which both are bioceramic sealers. First, we gathered 21 recently extracted human maxillary central incisors. 
which were extracted due to periodontal disease. Teeth were caries free without calcification or internal resorption. The teeth were cleaned using ultrasonic scaler. They were placed in 2.5% sodium hypochlorite for 30 minutes for disinfection. Then they were washed and sold, uh, stored in, dent in distilled water. Before instrumentation, the crown were cut to the level of the cemento enamel junction by a, co a water-cooled precision micro saw, leaving averagely 15 millimeters long root segments. The working lengths were recognized in all the canal by a 15, size 15 K file. The root canals were mechanically treated using two taper system by the supply my fair starting by SX followed by S1 and S2 which were the shaping files in a brushing motion followed by F1, 2, 3, 4 and finally F5 in a non-brushing motion. The APK patency was checked using the patency file between every single file. The irrigation was done during the whole instrumentation by 5 mm of 5.25% sodium hypochlorite solution between each file using an end perforated 27 gauge needle to ensure the complete cleanliness of the root canals. After complete cleaning and shaping, the samples which were 21 roots were grouped into three groups according to the type of sealer to be used uh, as mentioned previously, where every group were consisting of seven roots. The operation was performed using ProTaper Universal Gata Perca points and the type of sealer was used according to its group using lateral condensation technique. Group A were obturated using add seal, group B were obturated using well roots and group C were obturated, obturated using seal. The roots were then coded according to the type of sealer used and stored for seven days in a most moist environment to ensure 100% setting of the sealers before testing. After complete obturation and radiographic assessment, ProTaper Retreatment Universal System was used for complete elimination of the obturating materials in a crown down technique in conjugation with a torque control engine, in our case it was an NSK motor, at a speed of 500 rpm. The procedure was completed when no obturating material was observed on the instruments. 5 ml of 5.25% sodium hypochlorite and 5 ml of sterile saline were used to irrigate the canals and then dry it. Using a hammer and chisel, the roots were split where the coronal, middle and apical third were observed of the canal were observed under a scanning electron microscope with a magnification of 1000x. Attached with the EDX unit. The cleanliness of the walls were examined in, examined in regard of the number of open dentinal tubules. Data were presented as mean and standard deviation. The data were, te were, were tested for normality using Shapiro wake test. ANOVA test was used for analyzing normali normally distributed data, followed by Bonferioni post hoc test for pairwise comparison. Analysis was performed using the IBM SPSS statistics for Windows version 25.0 and here was the results. Results. Comparison between the three tested groups. Group A showed the highest mean and standard deviation values of cleanliness, followed by group B, then group C. There was a statistically significant difference between the three tested groups.
For pairwise comparison, regarding cleanliness, there was a statistically significant difference between all pairs of the tested groups as shown in the following table. This figure represents scanning electron micrograph for canal walls that were previously obturated using ADC root canal sealer. The orange arrows represent remnants of the sealers, while the blue arrow represents an example of an opened dentinal tubule. Similarly, the following figure represents a scanning electron micrograph for canal walls that were previously obturated with well root sealer. The orange arrows represent the remnants of the sealer, while the blue arrow represents an example of an open dentinal tubule. Same goes with figure 3. It represents a scanning electron micrograph for canal walls that were previously obturated by the use of Seal sealer. The orange arrow points to remnants of the sealer, while the blue arrow points to an example of an opened dentinal tubule. The discussions. Nowadays, nothing could alternate the patient's natural teeth. Root canal treatment is a practical substitute for tooth extraction. However, none of any of the recent materials is fulfilling all the ideal requirements of root canal obturating materials. Recently, new types of sealers containing calcium silicate have been marketed. Their major advantage is their potential of bioactive characteristics. Once reacted with water, calcium hydroxide is produced, resulting in an alkaline environment, which in return triggers the expression of alkaline phosphatase, consequently production of high mineralized tissue and having an antimicrobial effect. Moreover, the alkaline pH of these materials has the ability for neutralization of the acidic environment resulting from the lactic acid extruded from osteoclasts and thus the, dis the dissolution process of highly mineralized tissues of the teeth is completely inhibited. Well root is a previously mixed ready to use hydrophilic bioceramic sealer it is marketed as a permanent obturating material for the root canal system, which is used with gutta perca points. Zirconium oxide, calcium silicate, fillers, and thickening agents are incorporated in its composition. As a result of its hydrophilicity, once it contacts the dentine moisture, its setting is initiated and completed. Manufacturers claim that the well root exhibit a setting time of 25 minutes. Another calcium silicate material containing cedar, which is the Cera seal, has been marketed. It is a previously mixed ready to use sealer. It is formed of calcium silicate, which absorbs the moisture present in the root canal, resulting in the formation of calcium aluminate hydrogel and calcium silicate hydrate gel. Manufacturers claim that Cerasil has a pH of 12.73 and a short setting time which in return prevents the washout phenomena, which occurs if the MTA root canal sealer is in inadequately cured or if it exudates is secreted. In return, physical forces wash away the root canal sealer. Moreover, Seal exhibit an excellent sealing ability resulting in a perfectly and fully sealed hermetic root canal, thus preventing any bacterial progression. They also claim that Seal shows a unique dimensional stability 
since it does not shrink or expand, thus odontoclasis is completely prevented. An epoxy resin based sealer was chosen for this study, as resin sealers are the mostly used sealers nowadays, resulting from their stability, biocompatibility and good handling properties together with the adequate adhesion to dentin. Endodontic treatment generally has reported around 92% success rate. Variety of reasons have been advocated for the failure of the root canal treatment, such as inadequately cleaned and obturated root canals, errors in instrumentation, untreated left canals, overextension of the root filling material, and complicated canal anatomy. For an effective endodontic therapy, it is crucial to effectively eliminate all the previously used root filling materials. Consequently, easy removal of sealers is one of its idealistic requirements if retreatment is mandatory to permit full accessibility for an antibacterial agent and medications to the root canal ramifications. Efficient elimination of the obturating material and sealer can be accomplished by more than one method. Rotary instruments specialized for retreatment cases have been acquainted which, were, which are designed and produced in order to specifically eliminate obturating material from the canal, such as Protaper Universal Retreatment Instruments. Therefore, the current study aimed to examine and observe the cleanliness of the root canal walls that were previously obturated with two types of calcium silicate bioceramic sealers compared to a resin sealer. In the current study, Protaper NITA Universal System was used to clean the root canals from the obturating material as it, is com it completely removes the root canal filling materials more efficient compared to other traditionally used techniques, as in references. Numerous methods have been postulated to assess the material remnants on the root canal surfaces. Scanning electron microscope is the only method that allows detailed investigation of the cleaned and filled dentinal tubules. Results of the current study concealed that none of the tested sealers achieved an effective and complete elimination of obturating materials. The evidence that till now there is no contemporary technique able to completely and effectively and efficiently eliminate the root canal obturating material have been, has been verified. Ultra et al. in 2017 stated that after two months of storage, retreat ability of BioRoot RCS showed significantly better results compared to an epoxy resin sealer. However, there was no complete cleanliness of the root canal walls that were all specimens showed remnant of the obturating materials. The descriptive characteristics of the dentinal tubules revealed by the scanning electron microscope study, as shown in figures 1, 2, and 3, indicated that at seal showed the large number of clear dentinal tubules, while well root and seal dentinal tubules orifices were filled by the sealer. Materials as well root and seal are calcium silicate based. Consequently, they have the ability to form chemical bond with the dentin as they undergo biomineralization when they contact any biological tissue. They might be, this might be an explanation to the easier elimination of at seal when contrasted with to well root and seal. Also, Obeid et al. in 2015 stated the interaction of calcium silicate based sealers with a phosphate containing fluid produces a structure 
that has the chemical and crystalline characteristics similar to that of both the tooth and bone appetite. These appetites formed by deposits on the collagen fibers forming an interfacial layer with tag-like structures and the sealer dentine interface. This phenomenon is claimed to enhance their bond strength to dentine. This might also explain the results of the current study. Based on the results of the following study, it can be concluded that none of the tested sealers could be entirely removed from the root canal walls. However, remnants of the root filling material observed with well root and serra seal were significantly more compared to ADC. Thank you.